Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Healing Guys to Roll. This is your August 2021 love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Starting off with the Hierophant Commitment. This is Taurus energy. This could be also government. Institution here. Right. Now we have the Knight of Swords. So this could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini energy. Someone come, someone was coming towards you quickly in the past, it seems. They wanted a new beginning. They wanted a commitment here. Now, this is the past position, but I feel like they're, they started coming. And then something stopped them. Okay. Whoa, look at that. A 10 here and a 10 here. We have the 10 of Pentacles. We have the 5 of Wands. And then we have the 10 of Pentacles. A 10 of the Wheel of Fortune. I am sorry. Um, this is major money coming in. This is a little conflict here. This could be competition, struggles. But this is Wheel of Fortune. This is um, destiny. Then we have the Page of Swords. Now this is the spy card here. Someone could be watching you in the future here. They could be wanting to know what you're doing. You might. They might consider you their Nine of Cups and it's here's your energy here it's temperance sagittarius balanced energy bottom deck we have the ace of wands so there's definitely energy here of creating something new it could be a new job a new business there's a new situation here there's a very it feels very creative i'm getting that you guys are on the ball here with your creativity it's like it's it's it might have been a little stagnant for some, I feel. And all of a sudden, it's starting to take off. Now, in the past here, we do have this Hierophant. You were, you might have been in a committed relationship with an air sign here. Could have been anybody. This person's kind of quick, though. It's like, they, um, they felt like they jumped to conclusions or they, they got... The energy just feels like quick. They move quick. And this is a beginning here. A new beginning. For some, I feel like this person wanted a beginning with you. I want a new beginning. And some, and this energy feels for some feels like a very recent past. But for others, it feels farther back. We'll clarify these cards. But this could be Taurus energy. like someone wanted to get married they wanted it but I it, it feels like the energy feels really strange to me it feels like they just all of a sudden they came out of nowhere and maybe as soon as they started going out they wanted to get serious I know that feels really crazy but that's what it feels like and maybe that's why maybe you left them because they just it was too quick now presently it looks like your money's doing really well here ten of coins there's money coming in but there might be um, fighting over this might be an inheritance that you're fighting over but destiny will prevail here so things will work out divine timing but these are also completions and with this five there's a lot of struggle there's a lot of energy that feels very chaotic here um, okay now with the future with this page of swords there is going to be someone trying to contact you they are watching you. I think they're trying to just figure out what's going on in your life. They see you as their wish fulfillment here. The Nine of Cups. And that you balance them out. You you just feel right to them. Of course, we got the Ace of Wands. Let's start clarifying these now. Look at that. Yes. This person was so serious about you. There's so much love here. Definitely wanted a commitment. I mean, you get the Ace of Cups. The 
star. They see you as a star. And this also could be representative of Aquarius. We do have the, the night here of air. So this is those in the spotlight. This could either you um, had a lot of recognition and people know about you or this person that was coming towards you was someone that um, was famous or could still be famous but it just isn't past position but there's a lot of hope here this or else this person could have had a lot of hope for a relationship with you or maybe this is a maybe you're married to this person ah three of cups yeah this new beginning happiness so this for some people this could be that you in the recent past you got married to this person and there's a lot of happiness, new beginnings. I'm getting like a lot of different energies coming through at once. I feel like they're coming from all different angles here too. Okay, what about this ten of coins? So here we have the king of pentacles. So presently either this is your energy, but this is a lot of financial stability here. You have the king of pentacles. This is a very good business person, able to like turn cold to gold it's like very good with their money could be a lawyer could be uh, someone in like a accountant or financial a banker but very good money very stable very secure now this could be your energy you're coming right now you're just doing really well in your business making a lot of money what about this five of wands hmm now this cancer energy this is coming quickly you could be moving away from this conflict just had enough and just getting out of it quickly because it's too it doesn't feel like it fits with your energy it feels too chaotic but there's definitely movement here so I think you're moving away from the conflict which is good there we have the Knight of Swords again. So this Knight of Swords is very prominent here. This is divinely guided. This could be someone coming in right now, or it could still be this energy around you. Like you're you're meant to be with this person. Divinely timed destiny coming quickly here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, what about this Page of Swords? Right here, it feels like I think your person or somebody here has been through a lot trying to stake their claim. They want a situation with you. That's why they're watching you. They're not giving up. Look at the King of Swords here. Very, very serious, prominent air sign here we have aquarius gemini libra here nine of cups this is a king of swords this could be this knight is is working on themselves to get them to a king this could be your energy that you're coming into your power you're very strong um making your dreams come true very intelligent not putting up with anybody's crap the temperance card yeah there's choices to me you're trying to balance things out but you have many choices coming up in the future and then we have the knight of pentacles so we have king of pentacles knight of pentacles we have two knights of air and the king of air and also the page this is a lot of um stable energy and very feels like whoever you're dealing with you're both on the same page intellectually you're very you're both intelligent Taurus Virgo Capricorn this person moves slowly but steady and then when they come in they make sure things are right okay I'm a little confused on this reading but let's see what else we can get I'm feeling different things for this past. It feels like real close in past. It feels like some of these people are married to this person. This air sign. The fool could also be Aquarius or 
um, Aries. So I feel very strong Aquarius energy here with the star, the fool, and all these um, swords. Yes, money's coming in. Whatever you're doing, there's going to be an even give and take here. Three of Cups, you're going to be celebrating this too. So they might be starting something new. And you'll be very happy about it. Page of Swords. I think you are being... Um, I think you could be in the spotlight and you are being watched and people are noticing you. Also, you're starting something new here. You're learning something new. You're researching something. You're putting a lot of time into learning. You got, And it feels too like you might be like really pop in with a bunch of creative ideas at this time. I like we do have this ace of wands and I feel a very strong creativity here. Nine of cups. So someone could be coming towards you offering a cup of love. Now this could be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces. Okay, <coughs> you had a choice between maybe two jobs two people two opportunities and you decided it took you a little bit but you decided and now you're waiting you're waiting for the results and it's coming money is very good for you this month have opportunities here there's going to be something offered to you here it could be a job could be a business proposition it could even be a partnership on feeling for some it might have yeah, might be a partnership but the money looks really good. People are noticing your worth and your capabilities. They see you as very creative. Judgment. Yeah, you are, I really feel like you're in the spotlight. You're getting noticed. And the judgment looks really good. So something, and something that maybe you thought was gone might come back around. We do have Ace. A pentacles, ace of cups, and ace of wands. I wanted to point out. That's three aces. A lot of new beginnings. A lot of fresh new energy. And look at that. Celebrating something here. It could be engagement, a marriage, a new business, a new house. It could be all those. It feels like very stable energy, though. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's really bringing in some great, um, your finances look great and bringing in great energy for you guys. The moon. Something could be happening around a full moon. Could be a new moon, too, that you're starting something, putting something into action. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. Something is also hidden. And there's a duality of this. This, whatever this new beginning is, it feels like it has like two sides. It feels like it's, uh, if it's a business, it's a very contrasting business that makes any sense. It just has a very strong duality to it. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like there's, there's two different sides to it. Even maybe it's too for someone if you're going in a partnership, you guys are like yin and yang, or you work well together, you make the whole, but you both have like a specialty. One does one thing, one does the other, and together it creates something amazing. But it does feel very different, like a, such a contrast. Strength, Leo energy, very strong Leo energy. But you have. If you um, don't think you're up to this or this new thing coming in, you do have the strength. You have the support. Um, the universe has your back. You could be going to business with a Leo. Queen of Swords. Now we have the King and the Queen of Swords. We have every court card. So we have the King, Queen, Knight, and Page of Swords. Very strong air energy. Very can you be do, going into like a communication type of business? It feels very, 
very air, um, air, a lot of air. If you could be going into partnership with someone that really, you do, intellectually, you guys really click. But there's something that I think you should create activity or something. You, you vote on the same level, but you're both so different. It's, I, I don't know. <laughs> And someone's thinking about something in the past that might have been lost. I This judgment might be something coming back around. So this might be, okay, you're thinking about how this didn't happen before. It might have been a business. How this didn't come to be before. It wasn't the right time, but now it's divine timing. And that's why this person's come in here now. Because before, it wouldn't have worked. Things weren't lined, the plans weren't lined up right for this, um, some kind of partnership here. Whether it's in love or business. So I think it might be sort of like come back around and sort of look like a different form, a better form. Cherry, coming quick though. So we have the cancer energy here. So this could be like really strong cancer energy with the moon here. Happening quick. So once things go into motion, they're going to move really quickly. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So someone could be coming towards you. With an offer here, it could be a business offer. We have the Knight of Pentacles here twice. It could be a love offer too, but they are moving quickly. And that could be Taurus, um, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. And then we have the Knight of Swords too again. We, each deck, the Knight of Swords came. So this is very strong here. This is. You know, it's kind of weird too. It feels like. Once you start a business, maybe, there's going to be other people wanting to join. Like, knowing that whatever you're doing here is really going to take off. And they, this feels like this energy of this. I, it's weird. you got a lot of strong pentacles and strong air. So I think financially you have the backing. You have the ability to do this. You have stable people working for you or working with you. And you also have people that are really very smart very keen quick very quick and very creative I keep on going back to this creative so it really is working well together this felt like a communication type of business and and someone might be trying to steal your ideas here I feel here we have the seven of swords someone is trying to get info they're sneaking around. They're trying to find out something. But they're going to be caught. They're not going to get away with it. And here we have the Three of Swords. This person might have been left out of... Maybe they were in the beginning of this... I know this is supposed to be a love reading. But it feels like it's, it's really more of like a business type of thing. But that might have to come through first before the love comes through. You might have to have this all settled for some. But it feels like this person... I'm looking at the Three Swords and the Seven of Swords. It feels like this person might have got left out because you realize you couldn't trust them. First you thought that they were someone that was reliable and trustworthy. But then something came out, maybe with this moon energy. Something was revealed and this person was left out. So they were cut right out. And now they're, they're trying to get back in or trying to do something here. Okay, let me... I want to know about the Three of Swords. Yeah, so we also... Divine timing. Um, things happen the way they're supposed to do. It's strength, having the strength. And the Queen of Swords. This Leo energy, this could be, again, we get the Queen of Swords twice here now so this is Aquarius Libra or Gemini cutting out having the, the ability the knowledge to know when to cut something out and that's why I think it's happening here this is divine timing this is destiny and um, working on something and not letting cutting out was not going to help you build your business this is feels like a very strong foundation a very strong energy here and this Queen of Swords is very intuitive too and knows what's up with with this person here 
and is not letting them get away with anything. And then we do have the hangman. You might have to wait for something, but you're seeing things in a different perspective. There's something that came to light, I think, with this person. You know, you, you're realizing something here. Wow, Sagittarius. I'm, I seems more like a business on career reading than a love reading. Sorry, but take it. If it resonates, leave it. If it doesn't, and please let me know if it does resonate because it's this is pretty intense and it seems like it might be more for like one or two people but thank you guys i love you guys and please like share and subscribe hope to see you again real soon